folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. Uh, it's a really windy day today. Uh, got storms in the area. So we got a tornado down by a little town called Cromwell. So check out Cromwell, Oklahoma and Bill Tillman. And it's spelled T-I-L-G-H-M-A-N, I believe. Anyway, he was an old lawman back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. And he was killed in Cromwell, Oklahoma, and there's a movie about him. I think it's uh, called You Know My Name. It's a pretty good movie. Anyway, check that out if you like uh, old history stuff about the old Wild West. But uh, today uh, is May the 4th, so Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. This is the same day that uh, the huge swarm, I'm sorry, huge swarm appeared last year in the tree back this way. And uh, we still have that huge swarm hived over here, and uh, they made a lot of honey last year. Two and a half supers uh, for a swarm. It was awesome. So today I've got two hives I'm going to get into, and uh, it's probably going to be too much for one video, so I may just show one. But uh, hive number nine and number uh, 14 right behind me. Uh, we need to check those. So they were just starting some swarm cells when I looked. Uh, it's been about a week, so I'm behind. I need to be getting in there. I've been really busy working with the garden and uh, helping the wife with the flower beds and just all kinds of stuff around here. Really been busy. So I'm way behind as usual. I think I say that every video. So I'll shut up now. Let's get into a hive nine and uh, see if we've got swarm cells. So uh, this might turn into uh, one of those nighttime uh, splits and because uh, the sun's setting. So I need to hurry. So let's get going. Okay, here's hive number nine. Nice and busy on the front. It's a very strong hive. And if you notice, I've got a deep box up here for, or a second honey super. They had this one nearly full. And I'm out of honey supers. So uh, I ordered a box of five and a few frames, but uh, by the time they get here and I get them put together and painted, the flow will probably be mostly over. Hello ladies, here to check you for swarm cells. I'm gonna take this super off uh, lid and I'll just leave the lid on it. Try to. Oh, it's pretty heavy too. It's close to being full if it's not already. So you can see they're working this deep pretty heavy. So I uh, took some honey frames out of hive, let's see, 13 right there, the single deep. Uh, it had a failing queen in it and uh, it went from super to double to single. And it had uh, five full frames of honey in it. And I put four of them in here. Maybe I put five, I don't know. Just to uh, preserve them. So these in the middle are blank. And these have honey from that other one. So I might harvest those, I don't know, we'll see. So let's get that sucker off of there. Okay, so I got that deep off. It weighed about 50 pounds. Forgot to hit record, I guess. <laughs> So uh, what I was saying is when you got two supers on a hive in the middle of the flow, it's kind of a pain working on it because you got to tear it clear down like this. And it takes more time. And if you're wimpy like me, it's a lot more work. And this box here, I bought this from a guy at the Bee Club in Noble, or, uh, Logan County. And he didn't cut the handles very deep at all. He made them himself. I thought I was getting a bargain. Uh, Price-wise I was, but performance, no. Can't get a hold of them. All right. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so my notes on this hive said that I saw one queen cup that was white inside, which means there was a uh, queen being formed. So let's 
get the bees off of here. Yeah. So they're not as far along as I thought they might be, but there are some queens being formed in here. One right there. Come on, focus. And one right, which one? Right there. Looks like there's one in there too. So there's one there. There's one there. All right, I think we've seen what we need to see. It's too early to split it for sure. Uh, we could look for the queen and pull her out of there. But uh, let's get on over to uh, Hive 16 over here and uh, take a look at it because it might need, it may be ready. I don't want to waste my time messing with this when it's not. I just heard a ruckus over here and this hive number four has a lot of swarm cells in it. Queen's pulled out. Looks like uh, we got us a mating flight going on here. They were doing this about a week ago and I found a virgin queen down, down here on that brick and uh, they were rejecting her. I tried to put her inside and they kicked her out. So I moved her to a nuke that was empty. Boy, they're just going nuts. We might see us a queen coming back here. So when you're in your bee yard, use your ears because you'll hear something like this. I'm sure you can hear it in my mic. So see how all these bees are fanning? Got their butts in the air and fanning. They're like, here's the spot. So that's signaling the other bees and the uh, this queen that's gone out and mated. This is a place to come back to. I bet you she's there. So this hive will definitely swarm on me. So uh, we need to get back in here uh, in a few days, uh, not too long after all those cells are capped and find that queen. Probably sometime this week, if I've got uh, good weather, we'll get out here. Because we don't want to lose all this population and slow down this hunting production. Okay, let's get over to Hive 16 and check it out real quick. There's that Hive number four there again some more. I had my head down in front of that uh, looking for the queen and uh, they were fanning out of there and it smelt uh, just like lemongrass oil. Pretty sure, uh, well, I'm not sure. I don't think that's a swarm. They're not leaving. Not yet anyway. And the original queen, like I said, is not in that hive. Uh, she's in one of these nukes. She may be right there. Uh, I, I don't recall where I put her, but she's in a nuke by herself now. Starting over. So here's hive 16. Looking good on the front. So uh, the queen that's in that hive four coming back should be a virgin queen. But uh, there are multiple swarm cells in there, so we could have a cast swarm where some of the virgins leave and make a swarm and they don't come back. 
because they're not the accepted queen. So uh, before I get out of here this evening, I'll walk around all these trees and make a really good uh, search for swarms. Look my smoker over there. I'm gonna give these gals some smoke too, just for good measure. Don't want another stingnado incident. <laughs> I do have the full suit on though, so I do feel better protected. That's not real heavy. So that super was probably added on second after this one. Whoa, easy. Yeah, this one looks pretty full. Let's pull a frame or two out and look, see what we got. Yeah. It's not capped yet, but it's completely full. There's the good stuff. Spring honey, central Oklahoma. Oh yeah, this one's way heavier than the other one. Ugh. A full honey super like that will weigh around 40, 45 pounds. I'm gonna smoke them now before I get the camera over here because they're getting ticked off. Now this hive doesn't smell like lemongrass. It smells like ripe uh, or green bananas. <laughs> That's the alarm pheromone. So you can see here where I broke off some uh, drone brood. So one of these frames had a queen cell they were starting between it and uh, if I was to pull them out it would have it would break it but there's too many bees in here right now I need to get my notes and look so none of these cups that are hanging down have queens in them I was busy looking myself and forgot to move the camera around. All right, so I think this one is okay for now. I want to get my notes and see exactly which frame where I saw that and uh, come back and make a closer look. Okay, I went and grabbed my book so we can check out of my notes. Someone was asking about how I take notes, so I keep three ring binder tabs numbered for each hive so we'll go to hive 16 so uh, April 26 one wet queen cell between frames three and four will destroy if pulled apart so you can see I start so here's record of 2019, 2020, all the inspections, March 25th, April 10th, April 18th. And I have kind of a little uh, shorthand. So that means queen right, eggs, larva, brood. And if I spot the queen, I'll put dots over the queue, like two eyeballs. And if she's marked, I'll put a bar over the queue and uh, I'll note with a letter what color she is. Blue, red, green, yellow. So let's look between uh, frames three and four real quick. So when I reference my frames, I count left to right. So three and four is right in there. 
and uh, I'm not seeing let's see one two three and four right in there is where I saw it before a wet cell I don't see it now man these bees are ticked I am so glad I got my full suit on <laughs> get these bees to go down so I don't smash them any when I put this big box down I cleaned up that drone brood that was broken open. I need to get these back in. This wind's kind of blowing my smoke away. See all these climbers? That's the ones that were getting in my suit before down at the waist. Come on, get on in there. They're kind of slow to go back in through an excluder. All right, that's as good as it's probably going to get. Slide it on so we just scooch them out of the way. Clean this up a little bit so it's not so bad next time. This super feels like it's probably a third full and I could probably flip these around. But I'm not going to do that this time. We'll do that next time when we come back and check uh, those swarm cells. Let's go look at high four and see what how it's doing over here. Yeah, so it's pretty much calmed down. I guess she uh, went on in. It's amazing how they can be so active and then just a few minutes, it's all calm. Okay, so what did we learn? The hive number nine has queen cells that are built out probably 75%. They still need capped. Uh, so we need to go look at our... Uh, chart that shows the life cycle of a queen and see about how many days that is till those would be capped and uh, a day or two after that get in there uh, or about that same time we need to get in there and look for that original queen catch her put her in a nuke and get her out of there so she's done her thing that's like an artificial swarm and then let them requeen themselves with the swarm cells that are left in there and I'll pull a few splits. So uh, I built me another hive stand. It's uh, back there on the hill. Uh, it's just a little uh, lightweight one for nukes. And it'd hold probably seven or eight nukes on there. But uh, I won't get that many out of, out of one hive. So uh, we'll take care of that one on that day. And by the weekend, uh, we're going to have to start back at that end again and systematically work our way through these strong hives like this one and uh, watch for queen cells. So this year I thought things were turning out earlier, uh, starting sooner. Nectar wise it may have, but swarm wise it seemed like it's a little later uh, for me anyway. I haven't had a single swarm uh, yet. Maybe it's just because I'm staying ahead of them and getting those cells out of there and moving the queens out and I've caught them all. But uh, anyway, that's enough for this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Y'all take care.